thank you for joining us in another Kingdom Power Park session. Brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Show support for Holy Prophet Ambassador by the will of God. Our Father, the Child in Heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debtor. As we forgive our debtor, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil one, thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and the agents of change. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and the agents of change. Welcome to this online seminar brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Now we go to the message already in progress. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet Ambassador by the will of God. The Bible is a library. The Bible is a collection of God idea. It is a legal document. So when you approach in the Bible through Bible studies or preaching sermons, whatever you do, whenever you approach in the Bible, remember the Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is a constitution. It's called the law of God. It's a constitution of a country called heaven. Heaven is an invisible country. Our focus session new today, new series, it is secret of successful kingdom marriage relationship. Part one. Secret or successful kingdom marriage relationship. Marriage is the oldest institution and the first institution created by God. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is God's idea what was in God's heart and his mind. Today's session is awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. I will teach on seven principles of kingdom successful marriage. Seven principles of the secret of the kingdom marriage relationship. One secret. Seven secret, which are seven principle. Seven principle of a kingdom successful marriage. A uh, principle is a law. It is a covenant. A principle is a statue, a command. The seven principle of successful marriage relationship. Get your note, your pad, your iPad, your iPhone. You are in college, you're in a seminar. Write this down, please. We go to the Constitution of the Bible. Mark 10, 9. The first principle is God joined marriage together. God joined marriage together. Now, there are many women running around spooky, say they had a dream that they see their husband and God showed them the husband this way and that way, 
and God showed him the husband in church. God showed him the husband who he's going to be in a dream. They're fantasizing. That's not true. God do not pick and choose your husband. Wow. God joined together your marriage. In the Constitution, therefore, March, uh, Mark and nine in K in New King James Version. Therefore, what God has joined together, what God? Who's God? Elohim, Abba, Papa, Abba, the Source. This is Nina. What God joined together, let no man separate. Let none man dissolve. Let none man pull apart, tear apart. Let not man separate it. Relationship, couples who are in marriage or relationship, no man should separate them. What is separated is the tear part. What is joined together? Joined together is a relationship. God brings together in a relationship. Joined together is a marriage. A bond of marriage. Couples, two folks coming together, male and female, in marriage. They fasten, they attach, they come together as one flesh. God joined together, let not man place asunder. God do not choose your mate. God do not choose your husband, lady. Man, God do not choose your wife. Wow. <laughs> he do not. Genesis 2, 22. Then the Lord God made a woman. God made man in two model. One, a male. To a female. Then God made a woman from the ribs of Adam. He had taken out of the man and he brought her to the man. He directed her, he, he showed her, he brought her to the man. Now notice what he did not do. He did not choose for him. <laughs> when God bring Eve to Adam, Adam was so excited. Adam said, no, this is bones on my bones. Wow. No animal. Look like Adam, but this woman look exactly like Adam. Standing up on two legs. Beautiful, awesome. Not a monkey features, not a cow, not a dog features, not any animal features, but a male, female features built. Wow, Adam said, wow, it's bones of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. She should be called what? Woman. Because she was taken out of man. That is the first principle. The second principle is Genesis one twenty seven. 28. Marriage is only 
I want to make this clear to every nation on earth around the world marriage is only between a man and a woman a male and a female it is a kingdom godly marriage only between a man and a woman a male and a female Parents what marriage are. God never ever bring two males together in marriage. He never did that. He never bring two women together. That was created by the devil. That was created by your government, your politician. That was created by your state. They pass laws. They authorize them to be married. God had nothing to do with it. Wow, wow. Now this is God's idea. Genesis 1, 27, 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male. Underline the word male. That's a man. And female. That's a woman. The man, two man, one with a womb. So anytime we see a brother switching, switching with a woman dress on and high heel shoe, you have to say, brother, you are a brother. You don't have no womb. <laughs> you do not have no womb. Wow. Male and female create them. Anybody who else walking on earth, Talking about marriage, it's not male and female. They're illegal. <laughs> they are illegal. 28 words, and God blessed them. God only blessed family. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful. And multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion over it fish of the sea, falls of the air, and over all the earth. So God gave them kingdom, administration, leadership over earth resources. What did he give them? Kingdom, dominion, leadership over earth resources. He blessed them with kingdom, dominion, leadership over earth resources. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Three principles. Let not man put asunder. Wow. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Do not let your friends, your old boyfriend, lady, man, your old girlfriend, who used to like you yes from school days, <laughs> who used to go with do let her put your marriage asunder. Mother-in-law, mama, shall get married. She want to get in. <laughs> That's a private relationship you're going into. You got to get an invitation or get a permission. You got to make a, an appointment to see them. Because that's private. Mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister, friends, co-workers, boss, women who are close to other women, the girlfriend, man you are close to other man who should fool your friend. Don't let him place your marriage asunder. No religion, no Christianity, no Jerusalem, no Hinduism, no political party. If you ever place your marriage apart. Do not let man place your marriage apart. When God joined together, let not man put asunder. God bring you together as one flesh. God bring you together as one flesh. Let not man place you asunder. When God bring you together as one flesh, let not man place you asunder. Sunder. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. No niece, no nephew, no anyone should separate you from your marriage relationship. Four, husband and wife. Successful marriage with husband and wife. Joshua 24, 15. But if serving the Lord seems unbearable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the God of the Ammonites or the Ephesians or the gods of the Ammonites, in this land that you go to live, choose you to stay. But, somebody said, but, for me and my house, husband and wife, choose us for me and my wife, we will serve the Lord. Husband and wife is important that you seek the kingdom of God together and its righteousness and get a relationship with Jesus Christ in your life. Live godly in your life. But for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Fifth, marriage is not built on love. Folks, lovey dubby dub 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 lovey dubby dub 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 they go to restaurants, <laughs> they go squeak skin, they go to car show, they go in the mall, and they go shopping, window shopping, and they go to dine and eat, and they go to play bowl, they bowl, and they play tennis together, they do many activities together, and they're in love, rub it dub 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 dub. When lunchtime comes, honey, what you want for lunch? I'm gonna buy you a big mock. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm going to buy you a sandwich. We sit down and I'll put the, the spoon in your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to put the sandwich in your mouth and spoon feed you. They love me, double, 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 double. And that's me last week. <laughs> they just meet this month and they love. Because you are in love, you shall not marry because you are in love. And when you get in the car, she scoot up by you and you can't even move the steering wheel. She right under you because then, honey, I love you. You love me. Love do not build in marriage. Love do not build marriage. Ask those folks who are on the wall. See what they say. See what they're going to tell you. Take a survey. Go to every male and every female and ask them about the experience about the divorce. Love do not build a marriage. Proverbs 24, 3, 4. Write this down. You're in college. Get a notepad and place it in the iPad, in the iPhone. Through skillful, through skillful and godly wisdom, a house, a life, your personal life, a home and a family is built. Wow. <laughs> wow. Through skillful wisdom, applying godly principle and precept to your life together. A house is built. Before you got to talk lovey dubby, let's talk wisdom. Let's apply the word of God together in prayer. Apply the word of God through wisdom. A house. You can build a house. A life. Build your life, one another. A home and a family is built. And by understanding, it is established on every, on a song, firm foundation. Wow, and by knowledge, it's chamber 
every room, every area is filled with precious, pleasant riches. Some man scared to go home where they have a crawling wife. <laughs> you got to have knowledge of that woman before you get to know her. You got to take knowledge. You got to investigate her. You got to get to know her bio. You got to know who she is. got to know her person. Nobody know you like you. You got to tell that man who you are. She got to tell you who he is. Both of you all got to tell each other exchange and tell each other what they like, what they dislike. You got to tell each other because knowledge it's built. All the rooms are filled. You know what? A loud woman who loud and loud voice and who not calm and who not disciplined. You want a calm, godly, praying, successful entrepreneurship wife. Wow, wow, wow. True knowledge. Tomorrow she build. Through wisdom and knowledge, the marriage is built. Not through lovey dub 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 dub, lovey dub 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 dub. <laughs> Not through lovey dub dub. The marriage is built. There is a thin line between love and hate. Do not get married because you love someone. Ask those folks who divorce. There is a thin line between love and hate because human emotion can slip up from one to another. The emotion and the feeling is up and down. One day they feel this way and another way they feel this way like the tide roll into the sea, like the sea come into land. They are emotional. The feeling, love is a feeling, bring pain, bring pain, bring sorrow. Love is a feeling, that lovey-dovey-dovey feeling, how you feel, because I feel that I love you. I feel that, uh, you, you you know, you, you, once the woman have a good shape, once the woman have long hair, once a woman look good, you you, you want to look nice and good. But if she get fat, if, if she get big, are you still going to love her? If she get sick, are you still going to love her? If she get handicapped, are you still going to love her? If she, if she change, are you still going to love her? Who are you going to looking for? Young school girls, young girls, man, love your wife. As Christ loved the church. Wow. <laughs> love, do not build a marriage. Ten line between love and hate. I'll share this with you, this powerful. Matthew 19. He told them, Moses, permit you to divorce your wife, pain, like something tearing apart from you, when you've been in love, when you build things together, and you get a divorce, it's like a pain, then hate come in, the thin line between love and hate. Wow. Moses, permit you to divorce your wife because of the Hardness of heart because you don't want to forgive. You don't want to forgive that woman or that man. You don't want to forgive your wife. Why you don't forgive your husband? There is a thin line. Hate got in because of the hardness of heart. But it was not like that from the beginning. It was not like that from the beginning. The seven principle. Marriage is one flesh. It was male and female become one from the beginning. But I say unto you, whosoever, anyone, divorce his wife except for sexual immorality. Adultery, fornication, and marriage, huh? Commits adultery. 
Wow, wow. Who's ever married her for sexual immorality? That's mean having sex in the marriage. Not with your spouse because marriage is honorable. The bed is defiled. Marriage is honorable. But the bed is undefiled. Undefiled means it's pure. It is good. It is beautiful. Together, when you have sex with your wife, when you love her, when you come together, it's an honorable sex. It's a clean sex. But when you go out and commit adultery, it is defiled. You defile your marriage, yourself, your life. You break your marriage wall and the covenant. It was not so from the beginning. Thank you for joining us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread and forgive us our debtors. We forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I pray that that family who are on the eve of the war right now, the children will be hurt from it. Get together and reconcile. Get together and reconcile that family. Stay together. I want to give you in closing. This 10 keys. I want to leave with you 10 keys. One, use wisdom in your marriage. Two, have commitment. Three, pray together. Four, have knowledge. Five, understanding. Six, unity. Seven, forgiveness. Eight, knowledge. Nine, agreement. Ten, love. May God bless you. Bless your family. This is Joseph God, Holy Prophet and Ambassador. Stay tuned for next session, part two, on secret of successful marriage, kingdom marriage relationships.